Hi there, today's tutorial is hot, so focus, seriously hot. We'll be making flames. If you want the ready-made project, check out my Patronite. Let's start with a new composition. First create a background, add a new solid in black. I reuse the RS logo, but you can throw in your own logo or text. If you feel adventurous, you can even add a cat photo, but no guarantees that the cat will burn properly. Turn this into a precomp so it's easy to swap later. We'll need one more solid. On this one, add fractal noise. Set the type to dynamic. Check invert. To animate it, add an expression to evolution. Time is 100. Now animate offset turbulence. I want the flames to rise upward, so set keyframes at the beginning and end. And at the end, set the value around minus 1000. Now the whole fractal noise drifts upwards. From the solid we create a new composition and add a few effects there. We turn off the visibility of fractal noise and move on to the composition with our logo. To make the logo look rougher, add displacement map. Set the map layer to fractal noise. Set horizontal to 3. Already looks like it's melting a bit. Next, blur the image with compound blur. Set the blur layer to fractal noise. Set blur to about 4. Now let's create an adjustment layer. Add Gaussian blur. Around 50. Change the layer's blend mode to exclusion. This removes the middle. We need a directional blur upwards. Add CC Vector Blur. Type Direction Fading. Vector Map Background. Amount 150. Direction 180 degrees, so it stretches upward. Go back to the logo comp, copy the displacement map and paste it on the adjustment layer. Set horizontal to 15 and vertical to 70. Now it's starting to look like flames. Add another fractal noise for more detail. Animate Offset Turbulence at the beginning set a keyframe and at the end set value to 0 so the pattern rises upward. If black bars appear at the bottom, fix it by adding solid composite. Plug and drag it above Fractal. For fractal noise, change blend mode to color burn. Adjust settings. Brightness 35. Contrast 70. To make the shape more irregular, add turbulence. Displace. Amount 20. Twist Smoother. Animate Offset. At the beginning we create a keyframe 
and at the end, in my case at 10 seconds, I set the value to minus 300. Set complexity to 6. Add another turbulence displays. Set amount to 20. And animate evolution with time is 50. Now it really starts to burn. If you turn on fractal noise visibility and set blend mode to overlay, you'll get more contrast and details. For now keep it on normal, since we'll add more effects. On this layer add displacement map. Then duplicate the logo layer and move it to the top. In the displacement map, set the source to the logo layer. Remove all effects from the top logo layer and add Gaussian blur around 20 Add fractal noise and animate offset to minus 200 at the end. If you look at only this layer, you'll see how it looks. Add levels and set whites to about 120. Go back to fractal noise and in displacement map set to mask and effects both parameters to 100 change blend mode to overlay and you'll see glowing fire create another adjustment layer and add gradient ramp. Click swap color and set blend mode to overlay. Adjust the black white sliders for stronger contrast. Now add another fractal noise. Type dynamic invert checked for now set the blending mode to normal, contrast 180, scale 200, animate offset to minus 1800 at the end. Blend mode multiply. Add yet another fractal noise but this time scale 9 animate offset additionally create an expression on evolution time times 120 so the animation plays automatically contrast 50 blend mode add brightness minus 40 on top of that, add turbulence displays, set the amount to 300, and also create an animation on evolution with the expression time times 60. Also, in fractal noise, change the scale from 200 to 150. Set the blending mode to overlay. Now let's add color. Create an adjustment layer. Add curves to boost contrast.
to change the color to a fire look, let's add Colorama. In Colorama, go to the Output Cycle tab and choose the Fire preset. Set the blend to 30%. If the color is still too strong, you can increase it to 50%. Finally, add Glow. Radius 300 Intensity 2 Change colors to A and B colors Set the first to orange The second to dark red Last touch Add Unsharp Mask Amount 100 Done if you want the ready-made project, check out my Patronite. You can download it and replace the logo or text with your own. And don't forget to comment, like or subscribe. Thanks to you this channel grows. Thanks for watching and see you next time.